When I first get in the water, there's just such an enormous sense of freedom that I have in the being able to feel the water move through my hands and the noise that it makes through my ears. I just, I love nothing more than the peacefulness of hovering over a black line. Coming off of the London 2012 Games as a Paralympic gold medalist, my immediate dream was to do it again. There was nothing that I wanted more than to go to Rio 2016 and defend my Paralympic gold medal. Following a catastrophic fall in 2014, I sustained nerve damage to my left arm and have a condition called reflex sympathetic dystrophy, which is just a fancy way of saying the nerves in my left arm don't work the way that they used to. And when I got to Rio, I came home without a medal in tow, and I did not make finals in my gold medal race. It was the first true moment that I experienced heartbreak as a swimmer. I got home and I set my sights on Tokyo 2020. Hey Mallory, good morning. Have any issues today? Any pain in your shoulder? Oh, a little sorry. tight? I'm gonna do a little soft tissue work. So we're gonna do like a circuit training again today. A little bit of power stuff with the slam ball. We had a team meeting between all of our main staff here on what the road back to Paralympic Games looks like. Look good. Let's head into the gym. Anytime you wanna compete for a podium at a Paralympic or Olympic Games, there's gonna take some serious dedication to work. Her comeback so far has been one of perseverance and resiliency. Don't stop, keep working, keep working. As we just dial things in here for her, we're hopefully just gonna make her faster, stronger, and more powerful in the pool. Good job, Mal, keep going, keep going, keep going. Over the past seven years, I have had a million reasons to give up. A million various different reasons to hang the suit up and call it a day. And I have had one reason to keep going, and that purely is because I love to swim. You have to bring it on every one, not save it for your last one. You gotta get consistent in that aspect. You have to be able to bring it home better than that. Go. Every single day has been a choice. It's not just been one moment that's marked a comeback. It's been getting up every single morning and choosing to fight for the dream. This journey is characterized as a comeback, and I understand that, but comebacks are also characterized as being something of returning to where you once were, and I don't wanna go to where I once was. I want to push beyond that and redefine the limitations and do more than I've ever done before, and I don't know where that limit is, but I'm really excited to find out.